Do you know the last time North Farmington was 5 0 to start the season? I believe 1970s, somewhere, somewhere around. It was 1988. 80? 80, yeah. <laughs> but still, 31 years. Can you uh, just touch on that fact and how much it means to this program to be off to the season you are right now? Man, it's, it's crazy. It's, it means a lot to the players here, the players that have been here since freshman year. Um, it means a lot to the administrative people at North. It means a lot to the student board. The atmosphere in the school is way different than it would be any other year or has it been uh, any other year. And to the players, we're starting to believe in ourselves. We have a better atmosphere on the field, in the weight room, in the school, in the classroom. It's rubbing off on all the players, and it feels great. You know, at Harrison, you guys were used to the winning culture and everything, but this this school and this program, not so much. Talk about what it's been like to inject some excitement into this football program and the student body because of it. Uh, you know, so the winning culture that, you know, that we had at Harrison, yeah, we were used to it, but you know what? Kids want to win no matter where you're at. Uh, they want to be coached. They crave, uh, they crave attention for detail and they want to be good. So for me, like as far as creating the winning culture, kids wanted it, they, they, they wanted it, they're craving it. And uh, I feel like they've accepted everything that we've given to them and, and uh, been willing to um, just improve each week and, and take to the coaching. So do you, do you know when the last time North Farmington was 5-0? and I heard something like 1988 yeah, today. That's that's correct. Another, yeah, that's Somebody else just told me that today. I mean, yeah, you know, I guess that was the last time, you know, to me, Whatever, you know, it's this team, what are we doing right now? And yeah, we're happy with the success, but we also feel like, you know, we, we can we can be even better than what we are right now. Prepared you are for the kids because this is a school that hasn't seen a lot of winning. Um, just how special is it for you? Yeah, it's it's you special. It's great. You know, I started here in 1962 and we were really good. Uh, when I left in 70, we were still real good. And then they they fell on some hard times, and uh, so it's great uh, to see them coming back, you know. And you know we've got kids from Harrison playing for us here. That that's fun too. And uh, we'll be playing against Farmington pretty soon. They, a lot of Harrison kids are playing down there, so it's great to still be part of it. And someone read the score of the uh, game against Avondale, and someone said, "Well, that's the Harrington effect." No, <laughs> no, you can no. talk about that. No, <laughs> you know, I'm here to to help out and uh, stay out of the way. Uh, these guys are doing the job. I I lend uh, lend my uh, you know expertise once in a while, but. Uh, well, is it difficult to stay out of the way? <laughs> no, no. It was time. <laughs> okay. No, you know, I coach the backs. I enjoy doing that, and I go up in the press box and see some things. But, uh, you know, it, it isn't that much different from Harrison because I always let them all coach. You know, they all, they did, they're, we're do, all doing the same jobs, basically, except John's calling the plays. That's the only change. Coach Thorne's calling the defense just like we did. Linebacker coach is the same. Uh, nothing much has changed.